start drawing the branches of this side. First, I'll get the pipe command PI. The diameter is starting with 2 inches, so I'll set it on that. Then for the elevation, we get inherit elevation, and then make a click here. And then I'm going to go to the end of the line and make the next click over here, then press escape. Let's go double check in section to see how the elevations have turned out. So I'll put it over here, right click and go to view. We're going to take a look at here and once again, we have enough space to make the elevation 3900. So I'm going to split the pipe by using split, click and click, then escape. Then we're going to delete the unions. Then I'm going to change the angle to 45 degrees. And I'm going to change this pipe's elevation to 3900. And now I'm going to use trim TR to connect these two together. There we go. Now let's go back to the plan. Right here, we're going to try to connect these sprinklers. So first, the pipe command PI. Once again, I can get my junction from the side, so I'll use inherit elevation. And with diameter 1 inch or 25 millimeters, I'm going to go over here and make a click on the edge of this pipe. And then I'm going to go forward to the second sprinkler and click again to connect them. Then press escape. Now I'll select this one and connect it into this pipe. So I just chose not to connect the pipe to this one first, then convert the elbow to a T and then continue. Now for here, again the pipe command PI, elevation 3900, diameter 25, and now I can connect the sprinkler to the main pipe. Now for the next part, once again, we can see that there's another sprinkler. So we get the pipe command PI, then click and another click on the edge of the pipe. Now on to the next one, this time we have to connect from above. Now I already remember the elevation of this pipe. It was 4096, so I'm going to enter that. So first we get the pipe command PI. Then here I'm going to type in 4096 and then make a click here and the next one here. Now it's not really worth putting the time to copy this part. So I'm just going to click here and another click to draw this pipe. Now we're going to trim TR to connect them together. After that, I'm going to select this pipe and these fittings, then change all of their diameters to 1 inch or 25. Then we're going to convert this elbow to a T. And the same thing here, convert the elbow to a T. Now the pipe PI. We're going to click and another click here to connect to the sprinkler. Same thing for the next one, click and another click right over here. Now let's adjust the diameters. First we select the T, then hold the control key and select the pipe. And once again it says it's one and one half. So while I'm still holding the control key I'm going to select this T and this pipe because they're all one and one half and from here on out they're going to be two inches. So I'm going to select one and one half or 40. Now let's go double check in section. All the pipes are looking fine. Actually I can just go back to the plan and select this entire area and then press BX so we can see this part in 3D. Let's take a look. First, let me click on this home. And as you can see, the junction is coming in from here and then connected to a sprinkler right here. And then it goes a little bit further and connects to another sprinkler. Also another one here. And let me extend the selection box. We also connected the sprinkler as well as these two. Now, these pipes are going through the beams, so we're going to have to check to see if there's anything we can do to fix this crossing. So now we have this one and another one and three and four. Now, if I try to make four splits, uh, it might make things a little complicated. So instead, I can just change the elevation from this part on out. Basically, I will be lowering the elevation of this entire line, or I could just undo this split here like I would be drawing this entire part with lower elevations. Like I would go in this section, then go over here and delete these elements, delete, and then go over here, and then I'm gonna select this and this pipe. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing, select this, because you know, these were the items which were crossing the beams. So now I'm gonna lower them all together down to, you see, there's the beam. We're going to go until it's below that. Now it looks okay. We're going to double check in 3D. 
and as you can see we still have enough space to make it higher. Now we are at a proper elevation where the pipe is going below the beam. So we've taken care of these first two. Now let's go in 3D and rotate our view. So we're done with these two and this pipe went lower. But now that it did go lower, it's crossing the duct. What about this part? This one's also going through the duct. So this wasn't a proper solution. What we had already done before and made the elevations 3900 was better. So instead we're going to focus on here on this part. First let's go to section. From here on out we're going to lower the elevation. But the part before it would stay at elevation 3900. So again I'm going to split the pipe right here. And then I'm going to select the unions and delete them. Then set this pipe's elevation at 3900. And now that it went higher, it's no longer crossing the duct right here. And now we're just going to connect these pipes. Right click and draw pipe. And at a 45 degree angle, then use trim to connect them together. Then go over here and use trim to connect these pipes together. So you might come up with some solution, but then when you apply it, you see that it doesn't work and you'll have to make some further changes. Let's go back to the plan and to double check what we have done, we're going to take this section and put it right here to see what's going on. Also, I'm going to minimize the section, right click and go to view. Now we see no crossings here and everything looks fine. Now back to the plan, I'm going to put this right here, right click and go to view. So we have a duct right here. So I'm going to take another look at the uh, fourth floor's total plan. And there's the part we're talking about. This pipe is going right through this duct. So as you can see, we have the same thing happening over and over again further. So I'm going to figure I could take this duct and lower it a little bit. First, I'll check the starting and ending point of the duct. If it comes lower, it could go this far and on this side, as you can see here. So it seems fine. Let's, let's lower the duct. And the error we're getting is probably for this part. Yes, it is. So we're going to cancel. And the crossing has been cleared, but we're going to change it a little bit further. So I'm going to select this and this transition and this elbow. Now I'm going to lower them. Below them was a flexible duct, so it looks fine. And thus we have cleared this crossing. Also here we have a flexible duct, so it's fine. So for the crossing, we checked the total plan instead of just that part. Once again, I'm going to take the section and put it right here and double check. The pipe is going right above the duct, so it's okay. Then for this other part where we increased the elevation, we were able to clear the crossing here as well. 